Hey YouTubers, it's Michelle, and I'm here today with Cher, and this is an album that I've been working on for, oh, probably about a week or so. It was from, it's for my mom to give a friend of hers, and I would stated in a previous video that she has a friend whose daughter passed away suddenly due to complications and surgery, and... She was 20 years old, and she had an 18-month-old son when she passed away, and her mother now has custody of the son, and uh, the girl who passed away, her name was Tori, and her 21st birthday, what would have been her 21st birthday, was October the 13th, and they had like a celebration in honor of her memory on her birthday and my mom wanted me to give her an album wanted me to make an album for the mother to keep uh on Tori's birthday but she didn't tell me in time so instead we ended up at or I ended up doing a layout and we framed that and then the mother's birthday is actually this Saturday or this Sunday, which is October the 30th. So I made the book so my mom could give her the album on her birthday. And what we figure is probably later on down the road, um, the grandmother will probably pass this album on to the son. So when I made this book, I did a lot of places for journaling and things and stuff where they could put different things and stuff about her so when the little boy gets older he can look back at this album and kind of uh, feel like he knows his mother a little bit better because he, like I said he was like 18 months old so chances are you know if he has any memories at all, they're going to be very few and probably won't have any at all being that young. So, anyway, I thought I would share. First of all, I'm going to do a video of just the album. And then I'm going to do a separate video where I'm going to take out the pages and show you the pages up close and stuff. Because a lot of them were interactive and things. But... I wanted to put them in sheet protectors because, like I said, this is probably something that will be passed on and stuff. And so I didn't want to do like a mini album. I wanted everything to be protected and stuff. So this is the album I did 8x8. And as you can see, it is very, very thick. And this is an album that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's just a cloth uh, postbound book. So, um,. I was going to decorate it, but it's so big, you know, I don't know that this album is going to uh, last, um, so I decided not to decorate the album. So, uh, this is the front, and it's a green, and when we were picking out the album, we weren't sure what color to get because we knew that Tori was not a girly girl, and her little boy's name is Hunter. So we went with the Hunter Green album, which I thought was kind of cool. So anyway, we'll flip it open, and this is the first page. I got this. Wow. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna hold the camera. Probably do better. So please forgive the shakiness. So this is the first page. And it's called. The Story of Life. And I have her name up here at the top. And I used. Um, I Am Roses. And what I figured is. They could put a picture of her as a baby here. And then one of the most recent pictures. You know, so it kind of documents her life from birth to when she passed away. Put this there. Okay. This here is 
her baby page that I did. And this page here will fold out and it has information, um, our uh, journal spots where she can put in information like uh, when she was born, uh, the date, uh, birth weight, you know, all that kind of different stuff. So I did that. And then um, the poem is actually a song called uh, My Little Girl by Tim McGraw. So I took some lyrics from that. The flower uh, is a, I believe it's an um, I Am Roses, and I glimmer misted it with some homemade glimmer mist. Then this page here is for the childhood memories, and I figured that she could put like her uh, toddler years up until she hit preteen. So, did that, and then I put a few little nursery rhyme sayings over to the side. This one here is for her teen pictures. And this one here is for the friends. And I did a special one because she has a really good best friend. So I did one for pictures of her, and then... I did another one that's like a little matchbook that opens up where they can put pictures of her boyfriends and her girlfriends and her pets, you know, just all kinds of different things. And the font I used in my Sure Cuts A Lot program, I cut that out. It's like the Friends font from the show. Kind of like that. This one here is for her birthday. And that pennant there is the pennant die that I was talking about in one of my previous videos that uh, Lifestyle Crafts makes. Really, really nice die. And this one here is for her Christmas. And I did the titles in my uh, Photoshop editing program. And then I cut the tree out for Mrs. Sizzix die. And I cut it out of chipboard and I just kind of embellished it. That's that. Then we have her school layout. And I put elementary, middle school, and high school. So she can put a picture from each category. And then this here is the milestones. And I figure she could put like different um, pictures because there's a little book there to put more pictures in. She could put uh, like graduation or prom, maybe her first car, first date, you know, different things like that. First steps. This one here is for just family uh, pictures of. You know, like grandparents, aunts, uncles, and things like that. And then this here is family tree. I figured she could put a picture of her, her mom. Uh, a picture of her mom, and then her brother, and her little boy, and then herself. They're really a close family. This one here is the layout that I did for her to put pictures of her and her little boy. Um, it's called Mother's Love. And I put some of those song lyrics to the Rascal Flat song, My Wish. And then this here is another page for pictures of her and her son. This one here is the layout to do pictures of her and her mom. And then um, this here is the um, 
coin envelope die from lifestyle crafts i love this thing and then i put like little uh journal spots inside there where she could put like different favorite stories of tori and this one here i did to do pictures of her and her dad This one here is for pictures of her and her brother. And again, I put another one of those coin envelopes up there. This here is just a picture of, um, or a layout where they could just put a picture of her and it just documents, you know, that she was a friend and a, and a daughter and a sister and a niece and a mother. So... This one is a thing about her different favorite I or different favorite things. And um, like I said, this probably will be handed down to her little boy. And I thought it would be nice to do a page where the grandmother could fill out different things like what her favorite color was, her favorite song, you know, favorite ice cream, favorite food, different things like that. So, uh I just put a list over here and then she can fill it out and then I did the title again on my Photoshop uh, program and this one here is a guardian angel and I figured they could put one of her uh, last pictures that they had of her on here and uh, this uh, is from a song called Angels Among Us by Alabama. So, and then this last page is just her memorial page, and and I'm not sure what kind of picture she'll want to put on there. That she might want to put the picture that was maybe that she used for her. Uh, uh, memorial announcement and I also put a copy of the memorial announcement right there which is tucked away there and then this is the poem that I used on the page that I did her and it's uh, the poems called uh, if tears could build a stairway to heaven so this is the album. I was really, really proud of the way that it turned out, especially since um, I was given such no short notice on when my mom needed it. So, uh, I just thought I would share. It's been a long process getting it done. Uh, been a lot of all-nighters that I've pulled the last few days, so... I'm pretty well wore out and uh, I'm just glad that it's behind me and I know that she will appreciate this so uh, you know it was my honor to be able to do something like this because I just can't imagine what she's gone through what she's going through and what she's been through so uh, anyway I just thought that I would share I hope you enjoyed and I will be putting together another video of just the pages um, individually so you can see all the interactive pages up close and personal. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.